Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back to, yeah, to a very exciting episode, because in this episode I, I want to tackle one of these insect nests that we have, right over there in the distance. I would like to tackle this, however, for this we need, yeah, specialized equipment, and what better way of doing this than to use one of my latest, uh, well, innovations, and that is of course the mech. And there we have it, the mech, we are actually getting a combat mech on its way is too. The problem with that is we do need a second combat or mech core um, and these are super hard to get by right so I can only hope that we can salvage a few more out of the debris but that's about it there is no way for me right now to to produce them so I'm actually going with the the, the lesser version here the normal light mech that we have but yeah don't be disappointed by that this one is even already pretty powerful there it is right um, the first version it is we should see the first version before we actually go for the second version so let's have it here um it's a pretty massive undertaking there too so it's going to take a while to construct this right first we need the materials uh 100 metal alloys which is quite a bit and the mech core um and then we need to construct it as well and then we need someone that actually can navigate with it so that's also something all right amber is already it, it seems to me doing it so she's getting the the core over there Right, and now we just need the metal alloy. I hope that my drone, there it is, is already doing the job there too. And with that, we have everything ready. And Ember is starting with that. And as you can see, this is going to take a while, right? <laughs> but it's going to be worth it for sure. Uh, Ken, in the meantime, is scavenging and salvaging those debris. We have lots of them around us right now. That is great. Um, and we are also waiting for my first energy crystals harvest. Because that is going to change a few things around then as well for us. Um, but that's still going to take a while. Alright, how's it looking there? Uh, combat Mac um, at 94%. After that, hmm. I think we're actually done with researching for a while. There is the advanced furniture. That's something we can definitely get in. Alright, so some upgrades there to comfort levels. Um, distillation, let's also get this one in. And then we got some lesser attacks here, the signal flares. Um, and also the camp management. Both of them we don't really need on a map like this. But let's just get it uh, out of the way. Because it's a quick and dirty a uh, cheap attack uh, that we can also get now we're in summer um yeah beginning of summer really so yeah the the juicy season is upon us 20 degrees in the night outdoor right now 26 degrees inside now why is that the case do we have a heater activated all the heaters are deactivated the fire pit is still working here so the fireplace let's extinguish that and do not refuel it we're going to turn it off completely this stove there is offline anyway um and then here, there's nothing anyway so let's hope that we can get temperature down there with the brick walls it should be way easier now to control all of this right mm, and then we also would have a look here with the increased solar panels we're still discharging the battery there sometimes i don't like this so this is something we need to tackle as well we need to get more electronics on the way and this is something we have at the soldering bench and let's move the electronics up in the priority i want to get those um, from now on CPU cores 3 we have they're nice for the turrets but other than that we don't need so many so let's actually focus on the electronics um, and perhaps an laser pistol or something but the, that needs the power cells again quiet right now everybody's sleeping really oh, Daniel is drinking no seriously he's going for a drink in the middle of the night while no one is watching him it seems getting a glass of wine that's right Daniel enjoy your life All right, didn't take long. We have a severe heat wave upon us, so that is going to raise the temperatures now quite a bit. Already 30 degrees in the morning. It will also, of course, increase the temperature then quite a bit in the house, but I think we should be fine in the house then as well. I might tackle my air condition now. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Let's turn off the research desk. Uh, let's finish that tag first and then actually do it. Something is wrong, even with everything here. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, the wind turbines are not producing in a heat wave. That's something. I might give me another solar panel over here. Or, you know what, since we are getting that harvest in soon, and we still have five power cells, let's go ahead and build me a second power cell generator. That's just going to do it. That's another 100 electricity that we have, that we have um, a positive supply, even if the wind turbines do not work almost at all. That's something. Combat Max has been researched. Let's actually turn off the 
the research desk for now, right? I really don't need to needlessly produce there or consume energy. And I don't need it. And there it is. I think she's going to finish it now. My combat mac. Perfect. And there it is. Up and running for action, ready for action. Uh, it needs a combat skill of three minimum to, to navigate it. And it's going to do a lot of damage, honestly. So that's a nice addition to my defense. There it is also. Second powered self generator in. The first one actually needs to be recharged in five days. That's okay. And with that, we should have a nice surplus now of energy. Something is not right though. Hmm. We should have a positive supply now. We don't. We do have the connection though, right? Let's make sure that we have a complete connection with the power grid as well. I think something is wrong here. It has to be, right? Oh my goodness, all of them are also on the fields right now. Harvest season again, reaching the 4,000 grain, that's great. Win. While you're here, please construct a wooden power pole. You can do this. Something is wrong here. Ah, there you go, right? So this one was not connected to the power grid, and now we have that power surplus there of 400, actually. These solar panels were not connected to the grid. I don't believe it. Should I cut this out? <laughs> no, I'm not. You can watch this. Aggressive animals ate it is over here. And they're going to, to attack them. This is also a good way of, of showing off that mech over there. Uh, let's activate my birds. I think now we don't even need to handle um, them anymore. Oh, already? Oh, Jack. Jack, you're, you're out there. Not good. Yeah, Jack is under attack there right now. The rest will need to help immediately. Oh, Jack is taking a lot of damage now. And Jack is unconsciousness. Yeah, he faded. This is nasty right now. Rita is coming in too. Please carry Jack to safety. Daniel is doing this. And the rest can follow now as well. Some of them are bleeding to death now. That's okay. Super important that we rescue Jack. Medical emergency. Uh, padding boxer? What? Oh, Boxer's out here. He should probably move inside. Can we please lead him back? There you go. Another shooting star. Hmm, this is a bad timing on that. I'm still going to do it now. Or how long do we actually have on this? Yeah, okay. Five days. By then the attack should have been repelled. And yeah, with the second power cell generator now online, we even have a positive supply during nighttime, even when my wind turbines are basically producing nothing and my solar panels are out of course in the night. So really nice. That's a very stable energy supply that we have now. Uh, Jack, you can actually, sorry. Yeah, he will actually rest, right? The rest will have to fight. And Quinn, you will enter the mech. Can you go over here? Daniel, no, Edmund, you go up there. Where's Ember? He's healing Jack. No, sorry, you have to fight. You're a good fighter. And this seems like a pretty dangerous attack there, honestly. The turrets are ready. Yep, the mech is ready. <laughs> That's a nice one. Let's actually not move it so close to the wall there. All right, everybody's ready, and there the attack is coming in. Unfortunately, it's pretty dark, yep, yeah, up to this point here, right?
quite the attack, honestly. Lots and lots of these creatures. Shriekers. And they're all stunned here, more or less. I think that's that was the main force. There's still some bleeding out here. And I think, yeah, my guys can actually go back to their work. Because the birds will do the rest, right? We still have that positive supply even during daytime. Oh, oh, look at that. They're attacking what? My house? How so? Why would they do this? That is a new one. That is a new behavior that I haven't seen yet. There's still one more animal. Yeah, that's this one out there. That should be fine. Holy cow, that is actually pretty bad if this is the case now more often. We got, yeah, four sick. So they are being treated right now. That was a pretty severe attack there. Mm -hmm. uh, let's actually butcher everything that we have here too. We never have enough too much insect meat and this one here will still actually yeah it's actually healing up right now but that's no problem because it's just one alien and it will get then destroyed immediately all right with that energy surplus we really really can now finally go for uh that air conditioner let's have the first one yeah probably somewhere here and the second one probably somewhere over there uh, both areas of the house are getting heated or cooled down at the same time. It needs a CPU core, so we can actually use the two CPU cores that we still have left. And we have lots of ore still, so we should be able to get lots of electronics done. There it is. In all its glory. Target temperature 24 degrees. Let's actually reduce this a bit to 22. And this should do its job now. And there's the second one then coming up as well. Right now, yeah, 36 degrees it was. Now it's 33, but it was night. Oh, Jack. Meltdown, really? You're hungry? You're out there working? Go eat something. And the second one is online over here. Oh, wait a second. Looking into the wrong direction, isn't it? Alright, in what direction does it need to, to go? I think this is the inside. Yes, it's the inside for sure. So this is actually looking wrong, right? I think it doesn't really matter still for the looks. Let's actually change it. And with that, we continue to lower now the, the room temperature there. Perfect. Solar Eclipse, there it is. They're rare, but yeah, sometimes they happen. And even with that, we're actually pretty good. I mean, it's a heat wave now and the solar eclipse at the same time. That means the solar panels and the wind turbines both don't work. All right, even now we have a, yeah, of obviously now we cannot hold the, the grid anymore. So we'll need to turn off something here, right? So those two turrets, that should do the trick already. That's a super rare event that both of them are actually coming together. All right. There it is. Proper now. And with that, we should hopefully be able to, to lower the temperature. And we still have another slot over there for another one if we want that. But for that, we'll need, no, actually not. We have constructed another CPU core just now, so that's fine. Right, yeah, we're butchering a bit more, and I think we would be ready now for that attack, right? It's 40 degrees outside right now, 29 in the house, so that's really cool in comparison. Let's wait, uh, let's wait for the energy crystal farming, and then we can actually attack the insect meat, or the insect nests over there. We shouldn't attack the meat. Oh, we scavenged nine electronics. That's super nice. Super nice, really. So with that, we can actually focus a bit more on the cores again. And let's also do that shooting star expedition now with Quinn. Yeah, around 31 degrees outside and cozy 22 degrees inside. The air conditioners are now bringing everything on step. Also in the bedrooms, we have the same temperature around. Expedition complete, a uh, chunk of meteorite, no survivors. 
could be a capsule coming down there, right? You never know that before starting the expedition. Of course, finding another survivor is super rare, so that's just something we need to wait on. Uh, the next harvest was in. We are sitting at 6,000 grain. Do we still have room? No, not really, right? So the grain is there. It's lasting now for, yeah, a full year under the roof, so there's no problem here. It's also, of course, getting then refrigerated uh, in autumn. And yeah, we're we're totally crazed with that. So that's why I don't bother with um, yeah a refrigerator or something like that for the grain. Even though, of course, we could build a house, a smaller one, um, and then have an air conditioner attached, uh, attached to this to have one giant uh, fridge. But for now, I don't think we need that really. What we need is those crystals. And they're finally growing now to the maximum here. So the average harvest growth is at 40 now. This is now going up to 100% and then we can finally, finally harvest them. There's actually already 180 ready to be harvested. And there it is, we're harvesting energy crystals. Very nice, very important for the production of power cells that we're going to need quite a bit of. And with that, we can finally also start crafting power cells with electronics and energy crystals. We can produce one. And yeah, let's actually have them all the way up to, hmm, where do we sit right now? Four, so let's say always until five, so that at least one is actually now in the queue here. And I think we might need a second soldering bench, honestly. With the air conditioners, also what we don't need anymore are those heaters, so we can deconstruct all of them. The fireplace I would actually like to keep, just for the coziness. Another thing I would like to do is the landing spot. This actually doesn't cost me anything, and it's a landing spot where uh, cargo pots, rescue stuff and anything like that actually can land, right, and supply crates. So it should be, yeah, probably in a bit of an elevated area, probably also not here, probably somewhere close to my balloon. Uh, requires the very strong support floor. Oh, alright, we need a foundation for that first. And with very strong we mean bricks or metal floors. Let's go ahead and have the metal floor. I think it makes more sense for this in this case here. And let's have it, yeah, here, right, where we have the, the balloon already. Whoa, that's expensive. How big is it actually? I mean, it's small, right? It's barely bigger than a balloon so let's actually have it built not bigger than the balloon there so I think this that's too big already and well it's 12 o'clock we're going to interrupt this it, the heat wave is gone that means everything would be ready now for that attack so let's take Amber, Jack, Ken, Edmund and Quinn one of them is going to go for the mech here it's probably going to be yeah, the one uh, that we need the most, so that's probably Quinn, he's in intelligent <laughs> and he's not the best fighter out of them. Plus they are pretty much protected then, right? So he's going in now, there you go, ready for action. And let's take my jolly band of fighters, one is missing I think, there is, Ken. And let's move them, right? Let's move up there, to that insect nest. nest. Let's just see how we handle ourselves by destroying this. We have arrived. Let's actually send the combat mech first to the, to the front. There we attack. That's it. Easy peasy. Let's destroy the, the nest itself. And with that, this nest has been destroyed. There's just these nest formations. They don't do anything though, right? And yeah, we need to immediately head back home. So that was easy, right? Um, because there is, holy cow, 100 aggressive animals. And they're, of course, right in the path to my base. Look at that. These are new. Flying insects. And they don't look too friendly. Very colorful though they are, for sure. 100 of them. Let's activate, or well, let's make sure that all of my turrets are activated. Rita, you can do this. You are in the base. That's 
definitely need to make sure that we have the the mech there as well all right also what's going on here battery charging this battery is not charging really oh it's malfunctioning all right let's get them back home well, hopefully they make it on time looks good though getting into the base there very important that my Mac is also working. Problem is now they've been active all day, right? And it's night now, so hopefully they get some sleep. Oh no, Quinn, what are you doing there? <laughs> get in there again. Do not leave that Mac out there, please. By the way, we can assign an owner to the mech, right? So whenever we actually draft the owner, he will automatically go for it. So let's have Quinn operating this mech. And with that, another day comes to an end. We are closing in on the end of summer. Food-wise, we are fine. Attack-wise, this is going to be interesting for sure. And yeah, we continue in the most likely last episode. Episode 20 then. In the next episode with this attack, also with our landing pads, so hopefully we attract some spaceships from outside. Stay tuned!